Hello and welcome to the Orange Leaf On Demand V14 New Feature and Highlight Overview video. The following is a summary of what we have introduced. In the video description below, you will find references to the full online help files that provide more details. In this release, we have made several improvements and incorporated some new features and fields throughout the product. Note that your implementation may have already included some of these same fields. Let's jump in. As you may notice, one of the major improvements with Orange Leap has been within our user interface. All of the functionality that you had before is still available. However, how you access the information is different as there is no longer a left menu sidebar. Key items have changed regarding the user interface and how you create new records, view lists, or view existing records. The go to and admin menu items have remained the same. However, the only other items in the top menu will be constituents and then any other modules like events or sponsorships that you may have purchased. To create a new record, a create new option is available under the main menu item such as constituents. To locate an existing constituent, you can navigate to recently accessed constituents under the constituent submenu, or you can also continue to utilize the search. The search functionality is still located in the same place on the top right in the title bar area, However, there are a couple of key improvements. As before, the default search is a fuzzy text search. However, as you type, results will start to display records that match what you are inputting. If the record you are looking for appears in the list, you can click on it to navigate directly to it. If a match is not found, the constituent search results will display. If you want to search on something other than constituent, click on the down arrow that is to the left of the search input text box and select an item such as GIFs. In the search text box, light colored text will display the default search criteria. In addition, if you hover your mouse over the search text box, a tooltip will appear above with the same default search criteria. You still have the ability to add and manage a constituent's gifts, pledges, reoccurring gifts, touch points, etc. However, notice that if you navigate to a constituent, these options are now in a horizontal menu under the main menu bar. This submenu will allow you to navigate to the constituents' addresses, emails, phone numbers, relationships, profile details, and audit pages. Clicking on the plus icon in submenus will allow you to create a new record. Clicking on the actual submenu name or the page icon will display all records in the list. A person icon indicates that you cannot create more than one of those pages. For example, you can create more than one address for a constituent, but a constituent has only one profile details page. As you navigate between different records associated with your constituent, the title bar will continue to show the constituent's name and then display what you are viewing. At any time, you can click on the constituent's name and you will navigate to that constituent's profile summary. Also, you can now navigate between items in the same list without having to return to the list each time by utilizing these previous and next or left and right arrows. Note that all actions, submit, and cancel buttons are now located in the top right. The top menu and title bar will always stay visible at the top of the page, even as you scroll vertically down the page. When viewing a constituent's record, there is an I, information icon, next to the constituent's name. If you hover over this icon, it will render their total given. If a constituent has a major donor status, this icon will appear as a star instead. If an organization has an associated parent organization, you can view the organization hierarchy by clicking the structure icon located next to the magnifying glass. Now let's take a look at some of the changes within our module. Under the Events submenu, a section called Venue and Facility Details has been added. Within Events, sections called Event Goals and Event Details have been added, and the following fields have been added to the Events screen. Event Type, Event Category, Start and End Date, Actual Attendance, attendance difference, and special instructions. Finally, we have also introduced a new module, Prospect Research. This is available to maintain information about a constituent's financial network and details. It is often used in conjunction with products such as Wealth Engine. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the most up-to-date information to help you rise and shine. Again, for disclosure of all features, updates, and enhancements pertaining to V14, visit the links to our Confluence pages below.